Welcome to our next video where we have come to the Lakeland Antique Mall that has loads of Disney memorabilia, collectibles, loads of Disney antiques. official memorabilia, yeah, like Matt says, antiques, collectible items from the parks and from the archives, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is really, yeah. They also have universal stuff, so where all, when they redo a land, all your signs and stuff end up in this antique mall. So we are super excited to go in here. Never been here before. So just to give you some idea of what's in this antique mall. This is the original Port Orleans carriage used in the resort. Caramel and cheese. There's no price on this, it says come inside and make an offer. So we've just asked the staff member if we're allowed to film in here and she says, she says yeah absolutely fine so that's brilliant. So we've just entered the entrance and they've got pins, buckets and buckets of pins. So these buckets are like 169 per pin and then you've got um, like so many in a bag. What is literally all the way around the front they've got the buckets here. I think mean, you never saw one more tin. Oh, the garden. How did I not even notice that? <laughs> that's cool. So that's classed as a, it says on the front it's a bulk collection. Oh, right. That's actually the problem. Must have been like there. Lots of coasters. That's cool. Just to show you the sheer size of this place, that me and Matt are going to go walk around, I'm going to film as much as we can. Yeah. I'm just literally going to go through all these. Oh, yeah, they are, they're lovely. Like, 169 a pin. That's, that's crazy. crazy. I get you a basket. <laughs> I definitely think we're going to need a basket. There's definitely the jackpot for cheap and buckets and buckets full of them. All around it. Set. If it's not so scary, thin. So me and Matt are literally going to be in this store for hours. I've already gone through all them, all these pins in these two baskets and I'm literally working my way around. I've already got a couple of pins that I've picked out. This is the absolute jackpot for cheap Disney pins if you want cheap ones. It's absolutely crazy cheap prices, it's fantastic. Let's just show you some of the things that they have in this store. Right at the front of the entrance, have this official Magic Kingdom. There it is. Film tomorrow. That's actually one of them. That's crazy. Got another ride vehicle there as well. So that's what. Oh, that's from Space Mountain. What was that from? That one's from uh, Space Mountain. Space. That one. Yeah. Disneyland Space Mountain. Yeah, it's so cool. I love that where it tells you where all this stuff's from. So this right here is thirty-five thousand dollars. Just look at that, just as you enter the store. Yeah. That is amazing. I'm literally so excited to walk around here. We've gone through all the $1.69 pin boxes and we've actually got a few. So we'll show you everything that we buy later. Maybe to find a few more. Hopefully we'll find quite a bit. Bits. I think it's in booths area, so it's like one trader will have all of their stuff together. So I think it's quite spread out. Yeah. So hopefully we'll find some we're more literally stuff. We're going to be here hours. So come and join us on walking around this massive gigantic Disney memorabilia and Universal antique mall and see what we find. Matt, look at this. Disney's Pop Centre Resort no parking oh, wow. <laughs> $300. There's some random stuff in here. Yeah, but that's what makes it so good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, that's definitely so far the most random thing that we found. But then we're in just the start of the store, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So what we were saying earlier about when Disney shut rides down and get rid of the facades and the stuff for the rides, some stuff ends up in here. So this was off the Shrek 4D. It's the posters around the outside of the building for the attraction. You'll notice though, these universal signs are taking the mick out of Disney World rides. So that's like the teacups from uh, Disney World. That's Dumbo, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but this is for the teapots. Oh, for the teapots, yeah, yeah. I was say, I don't think there's a price on that. Oh, it's, there's some more behind as well. They're just stacked up behind each other. Oh, Matt, I can just see a price tag, but it's for the one behind. Yeah. So, Universal Studios Shrek 4D prop design, $2,000. Wow. 
Those for one more? Yeah, it's got, that one's got, you can just see Lord Farquaad on the edge of it. So they're probably two, so these are two thousand dollars a piece. That's so cool though, isn't it? You're not going to get anywhere else, that kind of stuff. So these bags here are the uh, bags you get from the droid depot when you build your droid. Or maybe now, it's old stock or something. Yeah, I think the design's changed. I think it's, yeah, I don't yeah. think they look like that now. But um, yeah, these are $33 here. I'm not sure how much they are in the park, I'll try to find that out. But I definitely think they seem cheaper than the one that's in the park. Cheaper, so yeah, might be worth coming here if you're looking at getting that. So the, I've just seen all of these big signs. $800 as well. For the, I think somewhere in here they've got the bins from the Shrek 4D glasses. glasses. Yeah, I think they have somewhere. Yeah. And the glasses themselves in the bins. Yes. So just found another display sign of the little bow. And I love it in here because it tells you where exactly where everything's from and it shows you a picture of where it was in the park. So this is Universal Studios original prop design used for Halloween Horror Nights, $500. We've got another Halloween Horror Nights. This is from the Dead Coconut Club on City Walk. $795. That's a big, that's a massive sign of that, isn't it? Oh, we've got um, thingy here, look, Matt. Oh, the squirrel. Oh, that's from Christmas. HHN 2023 holiday hunt. And that's where it was in the park. That's so cool. Now this is what I mean by the most coolest and random stuff. Just here, propped up on the floor, is the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary sign. And that is $400. It was used for merchandising. There it is in the store. This whole section is full of Universal Studios old props. Even the Haunted Mansion one there. Like, oh, how cool, cool is this? These so really all cool. these pumpkin head things are all from Universal Studios. Wow. And that one, that's from Disney. Yeah. Haunted Mansion there. Wow. Yeah, I can't see how much. Yeah. yeah. I can't see how much they are, we'll just see the white. Right yeah, you can't, I can't see though. Yeah. What's that? that looks like $1,500 it that does, does yeah. from here. Right. So next to that one, behind this stack of signs from the parks, we also found this one. It's $225 and it was a prop sign inside the store, used for merchandising, you can see it just there. So we found the Shrek 4D glasses. These are them. Can't say price on them, but if I remember from a different YouTube video we watched, I think they're just a couple of dollars each, aren't they? I think, I think so, yeah. And then you've got even more Shrek boards, boards from the ride. They're just stacked up behind one another. And you've got all this stuff like, from the Shrek 4D oh, as well. Oh, there it is. That lot, that's from the three little pigs. That now, this is that's cool, Matt. There it is before you went into the theater bit. The animatronics for it. That's cool. That is, I think that says $20,000, Matt. 20 grand. 20 grand. Oh, do you get all of these though for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This set, uh, okay. So it's 20 grand for all three of them. Wow. And then you've also got the signs from Shrek as well. Oh, I've seen this, it's eight and a half grand. No it's Iron Maiden. What's that? The Iron Maiden from... Like, oh, from inside device, still? From inside lot. Oh yeah, again. Yeah, it was, it was that room before you went in to sit down. Yeah. It's eight and a half grand that is from Shrek as well. Oh, look at this part. Let's find something else from the Auto Mansion as well. I don't know if it's like from the Auto Mansion or something yeah. painted it. Custom painted pack. Yeah, not sure if that's from the ride. Like you said, someone painted it. Is that from Shrek as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shrek. Original prop, Shrek 4D. Well. 295. Same as that. That's 250. 
They've got loads of Shrek's can't they? This shield is also from Shrek. $500, that shield. It's definitely the Shrek corner, isn't it? It's interesting, Galaxy's Edge. It would have been $50 each one. One used Galaxy's Edge container, $300. Star Wars unused. So you two could also own a bin, <laughs> an unused bin from Star Wars and Galaxy's Edge, $300. Oh, there's another shield here as well from Shrek. Universal original prop, Mardi Gras tombstone. I find these chairs, go to buy furniture in here from Disney. These chairs from the Pirates League and Magic Kingdom. This chest is from there as well, though. 295. That chest as well? Yeah. No price on this, though. Oh yeah, not there. So these are cool. So these are Chip and Dale character gloves, three thousand two hundred and fifty. And then above it is Mickey Mouse gloves, character gloves. Not really small. Four nine nine five. Size of his hands now though. That's crazy though. Five grand. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Super cool though. You probably won't get it now. No, you won't. With the newer costume, like newer outfits. So Matt just found something super unique in here as well. This is a box of Christmas ornaments based on the miniature golf that we played at Winter Sun Summerland the other day. So this is, was on one of the holes. We've got buckets full of it. Like Santa with sunglasses on. Well, these were on this golf course at some point. So cool. What, and they've turned into Christmas ornaments? So no, what it is, when we were there, some of the buildings had like Christmas wreaths up with ornaments in. As we get other data, they must swap them out. They look like a surfboard lot. Like. Christmas Oh my surfboard. god, Matt, look on the underneath. Oh wow. There's all these as well. Oh, <gasps> Matt! <laughs> Just carried on going. Wow. Oh yeah, there's loads. And then above this store, Matt, I'm not even looked above us. Just like, just look at the random unique wow. items in here. And over here is a gigantic Goofy. A Jack in the Box from Disneyland. So in the same booth as own Christmas ornaments from the golf course, they have these drawers. Wow. And in it is all this stuff. The shop's called Recycling the Magic. Could be me. That's the concept art for his costume, for his outfit from the show. Wow. Got the slim I'm just art. Yeah. The last one is so neat. Is there a top out corner? Hundred dollars. That's cool as well. It's like a ticket for Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah, it's like an original ticket, no strings attached ticket, $25. Drawers and drawers full of it. Yeah, so we're, we're going to go through all these drawers and see what else we can find. Matt, look how unique this is. It's all different hard hats. Are these Imagineers hard hats? Yeah. Wow. That one's got Jiminy Cricket on it. That's got that Space Mountain cool. on it, that one. Oh, Space Mountain one, look. Yeah. Bamboo hard hat, China, $3.95. Oh, wow. New Zealand, $7.95, mm -hmm. that one. You've got all. Crew lot 1990, Imagineering. Can't see the price for that one. Shanghai hard hat, 595. This is from when they built Mission Space. It's the Imagineers pin and button. Epcot 2003. That's cool, That's cool that is. So at the back of the store, so that recycling the magic booth. And they've got this was like a Space Ranger spin ride on the front of the ride. That is so cool. Seven and a half grand that is. And all around this booth, they've got the Disney characters that you see in Disney shop. Do you know how much all they are? And in this booth as well, I've also got Disney crew clothing everywhere. Up there, look on the mannequins. Imagineering stuff, class men in the clothing. We've even got a 25th anniversary 
Walt Disney World bag, carrier bag, seven ninety five. Got a bin full of all stars or okay, cute and that's forty dollars. That's quite unique as well. And they've got all the characters up on the top. Can't see any brass on them, but they're an absolute fortune. Found these all star resort tables, $75. They've got a lot of the uh, all star resort stuff, but then they're lock, and they've got these coat hangers as well. They've not got a remodel, have they? So it's probably all come from them. There is so much stuff. It's unreal, isn't it? Oh, look, Port Orleans mirror. Wow. Comes a box. Oh, what's these over here as well? Animal Kingdom Resort mirror. Wow. Now that's cool. Yeah, cool. That, yeah, that's not. cool. Oh, and that's where it was, lot in the rooms. All right. 125. Can also buy self All Star Resort light. Thirty dollars. Got, got loads of these. Wallpaper from Mary Poppins. Uh, <laughs> from that bit in the room, lot. Oh, yeah. uh, that's nice. Yeah. Thick. It's like card. Yeah, I think it's uh, double sided. I think like we peel it away and it'll stick to the wall. Whoa! One mm. sheet, sixty five dollars. That little square. <gasps> you can get people one, two, three, three. Oh yeah. my god. They're in the same booth, and if these statues, that's at eight nine five with Donald, that one's seven nine five. How much are them ones up there? I was yeah. just saying, I, I wonder how much they are. Them ones yeah. around, up and around are. I'm guessing they're they not, must not be even for sale. Must be thousands and yeah. thousands. I found a stand full of little frames. This got stuff like that. It's a patch from the security. What is new? World security nine five dollars. Photo pass patch from the uniform, fifty-five. We've got from Euro Disney, fifteen dollars. Tickets from Disneyland. And the random thing we found, it's a nineteen eighties turnstile. Not sure where it's from, but it just shows the uniqueness of the items in this antique mall. This is an Imagineering polo shirt. Looks old. Yeah, it's very vintage. Seventy-five dollars. I think it is quite old. It's got uh, Mickey's hat on the I, like, I, was collar. Just, I was just about to say, I like this from the collars. Yeah, that's cool. And they've got um, Disney Transport maintenance shirt as well. $45 is that one. Walt Disney World, my dreams come true. Tokyo Disney. $65 they all. So they've got one of the ride vehicles from Splash Land today. And it's like, they're using I don't think it part of the price for it. It's probably not even so Yeah. So cool. Got these tiki heads. Wow. Two hundred fifty dollars each. Wow, that's what I imagine. That's cool. So they got a prop from Epcot to Mexico Pavilion. Eight hundred ninety-five dollars. One of a kind. One of a kind. These old Snow White lamps. Just found all these imag yeah. Imagineer jackets. jackets. From 9 to 5. Yeah. That what is year so is that from the last? Old. old. Don't know what year it is. That's so cool. They've got loads of them. A rack full of them. That's enough. Like that. Yeah, that's, that's a cool one. Yeah. Cast member Millennium. Oh, for 2000. Yeah. yeah. On the back, Walt Disney World as well, 295. Oh, wow! Oh, that's cool. That's impressive. I like that one. Yeah, me too. Wow. Craft different. Yeah, Walt Disney Productions. Disney 295. That one. Is there anything on the back of that one? No, they got a rack full of old cast member name badges. So, they've just got baskets and baskets full of it. We're trying to find our names. But would do well to find Lauren and Matt in these. <laughs> well, this one was cool. It's got all the languages that that person spoke as well. So Spanish, Italian, Dutch, and sign language. If your name's Jeff, I've seen quite a few Jeffs, then you'd do all right. And art. I 
float on. Barry. Valerie. Billy. Just went to another store now and these another bin full of cheap these and things. One dollar sixty nine. Yeah. Just, just really look and look at these. Baskets full and all sorts. Something else that me and Matt's come across in the booth. They've got really, really old Coke bottles, what, 1998 with the Coke still in it. That's twenty dollars. Matt, there's one here from 1998. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what we bought from the antique mall. We spent $21.82. We bought various cheap pins. And this one cost us $1.66. This one cost us one sixty nine. This cost us one sixty nine. BB eight. One sixty nine. Chewy. This cost us one sixty six. We're not entirely sure what this is, but it really intrigued us. So we bought it to try and work out what that says and what it actually is. And then. Matt bought that for his car for back at home. Matt's into all of his American sports big time. He has been for years. He follows it back at home in the UK. And I bought these. So these are the original posters that they had years ago when the film was brand new out in the cinemas and used for advertisements. Obviously, they've done onto a mini scale. But I just thought it was super cool that there was a box of these. Only two dollars each. They are actually postcards, but they're like so they are the classic movie posters you can see on the back lot. Two dollars each. And my plan with these is I'm gonna put them in a frame at some point and hang them in a condo. I just thought it was super cool. Yeah, there's all off the same booth. I just thought it was really cool that these are the original posters for the films. And then Peter Pan. And then Matt got me that one to take home. Because I absolutely love Ray from Princess and the Frog. So that's going to go home with me. And I'm going to put that up where my computer is. Yes, yeah, so the way I'm going to display these is... I want to get some sort of frame for my IKEA. Maybe like a four... Uh, picture frame like that and display them like that I've got to find a home for them first I think I know where I put them I think I put them next to that Magic Kingdom poster that we got I think it looks super cool just different I really like it we thought this must be to do with Star Wars that it's Arabesh yeah. Arabesh, is that Arabesh right? yeah and Matt's just googled basically the letters I translated it yeah, yeah. And it's it says Savvy's Salvage. So it's actually from when you build a lightsaber you can get this pin from Savvy's workshop. That's why it's the shape of a lightsaber basically. Yeah, that's really cool. So we're well for that, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. We brilliant. thought it was something to do with Star Wars, but we wouldn't know what and we didn't know what it said. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that's great. Well for that. Yeah, especially for one sixty six. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Us being so intrigued buy this we took a chance with it being only one dollar sixty six yeah and that is so paid off no, just, i'm well chuffed with that and on the back in small text it says galaxy's edge as well I just noticed that bottom right hand corner it says galaxy's edge oh you can't see it on camera yeah yeah so, it does yeah, we, didn't, we didn't even see that though in the that. shop did we no bloody hell it says that the bottom corner <laughs> we didn't even know yeah That's brilliant. <laughs> right we're gonna end this video here I want to say thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!